See ya. We I must love this. We had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Molly Finch. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. Mm -hmm. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Mm -hmm. The table it, food was dry, but I didn't mind it. I kept eating and eating. She actually had the toothpaste. Are you joking? I ate a lot of things that. Oh, hi, Louis. Are you going to eat three? Why don't you eat the other four? Is that hungry? <clears throat> then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. Okay, watch this paw. And suddenly... I was a cat! I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. Suddenly, I was an owl. First, okay. I heard it was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Okay. Okay, that's the pick people up. Pretty straightforward. Imagine his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. A mama rabbit! Crazy. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. Okay, then they just changed the set completely. Okay, what were we meant to do? Flick up. What time? What we meant to do, just flick ourselves around. I'm guessing we do. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. I wanted fat, 
juicy seals. I tore off your flipper and it tasted really good. and I smelled people smell went into an old pipe. <clears throat> I got closer and closer. My stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know. She died because she got eaten by a monster. Really believe that? I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Where is Edie? Oh. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. 
Okay, what's just so, happened now? When we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore in their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin, and that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. How I want to remember my brother, my son. <clears throat> the thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, we swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. But maybe if I hadn't said that. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother.
Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. And that's where I'm going to end it.